Jewel Hillary joins us live from Naperville, where a Memorial Day ceremony recently wrapped up. Jewel, good evening. Hi, good evening, Jackie and Taman. While nothing can take the place of a service member killed in war, those who have lost relatives who were serving our country say a new memorial here in Veterans Park in Naperville is one way to help keep their memories alive and remind the community of their ultimate sacrifice. After several years of planning and fundraising, a crowd of hundreds gathered in Naperville's Veterans Park to commemorate a new monument, honoring Gold Star families and their loved ones killed serving the country. Like many in the crowd, That's Michael Harold Flood, combat medic. Staff Sergeant Mario BF. He was a Green Beret who parachuted behind enemy lines. Hunter First Airborne. He was killed on Good Friday, April 4th. 1969. Denise Williams, president of the Illinois Department of American Gold Star Mothers, knows the heartbreak of losing a loved one. Her only child, PFC Andrew Meary, was killed in Afghanistan at the age of 21 on November 1st, 2010. He would be amazed and proud that the people he chose to serve and protect and defend appreciate the gift that they've been given. Medal of Honor recipient Herschel Woody Williams, a World War II Marine veteran who died last year, was the driving force behind Naperville's new memorial and many others nationwide. After Woody retired, he said there's got to be something that we can do for Gold Star families. And that's where him and another guy got together, they designed the monument. This monument is the Woody Williams Foundation's 127th memorial across the country, recognizing Gold Star families and service members killed. The community pitched in significantly to pay for the tribute. Naperville did a fantastic job and it's something that uh, the whole community should be proud of for many years to come. Denise says the new monument ensures her son's life and the many others lost serving our country will never be forgotten. Tears of gratitude all day. I've had a lump in my throat since I got here just seeing in the crowds all of these people that are standing with us. Now, although Memorial Day can be a solemn day, especially for families who have lost service members, Denise says it is a day to recognize and celebrate our freedom, which of course so many people have died for. Additionally, 70 new Gold Star Families Memorial Monuments across the country are in progress through the Woody Williams Foundation. Reporting live in Naperville, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.